that uh, very well. Um, when I got the word traffic dog, I took the opening day in Wyland. And uh, I went back and I looked at the transportation costs and uh, the transit numbers for analysis. Just to get a feel. Because I know you said you're going to reach out to more valley and then down. Try to get some information from the numbers. And what I did is I took um, the high school number of students in each school to track it out our first monthly kids and then to track it out uh, out of district kids to get a net number of students eligible for an office. And they took um, a lot of the information, but I, I'm going to run some numbers back. Um, when I ran the average number of kids per bus on the Long Valley route, looks like they're estimating 69 kids per bus. And then it was done in 99 kids per bus. Uh, for people getting on the bus and then calculating what they're on the bus. Um, the average cost per route in Long Valley was 31200 And the average cost per route in London is 28500 But I believe we only had nine routes in London. And we have, I believe, 21 routes in Long Valley. So then I thought, well, let's see what the per pupil costs are. And the per pupil cost. Um, at Long Valley, was 453 a head on the bus. And um, the per people cost at Mendham was 288. And I may have used the wrong, I was using 447 kids on the per people cost in Mendham. I can't remember if that was right. Um, but then what I really thought was interesting, um, I thought, well, let's look at the square mile. Let's look at how many square miles in Long Valley. And uh, according to Google on the Long Valley, the Washington Township website, Long Valley has 44.9 square miles. Chester Township has 30 square miles. Chester Borough is 1.45. Mendon Borough is 6 square miles. And Mendon Township is 17.9. So the Mendon High School busing serves 55.35 square miles. And the Central busing serves 44.9. What I did is I took the total cost and said, I have to average cost per square mile. And uh, the average cost per square mile for Mandam is $4,650 per square mile. And then when we got to Long Valley, it's $13,907. How old is it? It's almost perfect. And so I wondered, well, what could possibly be driving these differences? And, um, the information I don't have is the hourly rate to run the buses. What's the hourly cost at Long Valley? The driver, the fuel, you know, the depreciation cost of the vehicle. And um, if I don't have that for comparison. And I also don't know the average length of route. But when I... You know, Are you talking about miles or time? Oh. Okay. How long are we running these buses? What are we charged per hour? And how long are they running? Yeah. Why is it so much more? Again, it goes back to my question of what we're asking. Why is it so much more? I'm trying to figure out what, what's driving these numbers. So I know you indicated you were going to reach out to Long Valley. And when you do that, I was going to ask if you could get reality rates. I, mean, I went on their website, they do have their bus driver salary, but he can use a lot of minutes. And, um, but also the length of the route. And why are we calculating 99 kids a bus at Manda? Is it culturally more kids are not going on the bus to get Manda? Or, you know, are more kids riding, actually physically riding the bus in Central? Or, you know, or can you get MPC code here? Can you be calculating 99 kids per bus at Central, like we are at Manda? I don't know. But it seems like it's a good question to ask them. You can do it with the cost them. students are just coming from the fact that, that you're, you have more kids 
about actually physically riding the buses in most recent times. So, um, but none of them, because we can't load 99 kids, obviously, in 54 passengers. We can't load 69 either. But I, I think we need to get to be honest with How many kids are really riding the buses? <coughs> and what impact is this open opportunity of the buses? <coughs> This year, what we're, we're planning on doing is, is that you know we we are we're going to wait for the first couple of weeks of school to go by because what we've discovered is that you know a, a lot of parents will send their kids on the bus so they get familiar with the routine and then they'll opt out and, and be driven to school or something along those lines. So after that time period passes, we are going to do a, a two-week survey of the ridership on, on the AM and the PM buses, both sides of town. We're going to do that again in the winter, and then we're going to do that again in the springtime so that we can begin to maybe build a, a database of you know, what is our ridership. Um, I believe that, that the, the larger number of uh, kids that are um, loaded, it's like we call the paper load, uh, at uh, one school versus the other is because of, of what actually happens is that there there are fewer kids that sign up for, for busing or that are eligible for busing that may take the bus and then as opposed to worst township. But but we, when we do our surveys we'll be able to actually quantify that for you. Um, yeah the other thing I noticed maybe when you speak to them you can ask when I went to their um, I believe again it was their July twenty seventh minutes. They're leasing the bus. I, I'm the research that I've done with it. Um, is I believe it's a personnel cost. Uh, when I look at the equipment cost or the, the maintenance cost between Midham Township and Washington Township, they seem fairly comparable. It's in that column where we have salary and benefits. Is that it's larger <coughs> on the Washington Township side than it is on the Midham Township well, side. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I have that information, but they, they provide me with, with the, the information. I, I don't have the hourly, you know, breakdown of each employee, but right. I do have the annual salaries. Well, I don't know how many hours that actually right. provided, and I don't know what the annual salary was, that's the four hours you're working at, the six hours you're working at, I don't indicate right. what the, the definition of that annual salary is. Are these numbers still in time? Yes, sir, I didn't see what you were well, yeah, yeah. And, and we have to thank the, the, I believe the Penn Township Superintendent and, and uh, his staff for uh, what you mentioned, Sue, is that the, the number of hours that they're being employed in Minnesota Township is lower than in Washington Township, which is the difference between benefits and, and no benefits, which for, for us, uh, Menham Township's cost is lower because they're paying an hourly rate, but not benefits for some of their drivers. And and I said, well, can can you do some routes for us over Washington Township? And because of tiering, they were unable to, because they looked at it, you know, because we had some expensive routes, we said, well, why can't you do this route for us? And they said, we can, but you know, your cost is still going to climb because we still have to pay a driver uh, to cover the, that route. We did. We did. <laughs> no, actually, I, I had worked. I worked with uh, Anthony and I both had worked with uh, uh, Angelo Villar, the superintendent for the uh, Morris County Education Service Commission, and what he had done was, um, you know. Looked at because he did it, and, and we didn't get into the bid situation. Because we get in the bid situation, you know, then then uh, uh, it isn't like we can say, oh, we don't want to do it. It has a tremendous impact. If we're going to do that, we need to let Washington Township and Menden Township both know that they may need to sell some of their buses because we're not going to be a customer of theirs. So we went to Angelo and said, could you uh, find out for us what it would cost if we had a third party provide us with the transportation for both. Menham Township and Washington Township. And the answer that came back was it's going to be much greater in cost simply because of the inability to tier. To make it work, they would have to get all of the, the K-8 riders at both sides of town 
uh, in order to make it uh, competitive with the existing uh, services. Uh, one other thing I did. So, I was actually at a county meeting last spring when he was the speaker talking about shared services between school districts. And he actually brought up the example of our school district where sometimes things don't work as far as shared services. And one of the things he brought up was, was the transportation 